Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna see how to write UI testing for a page in the next two years. So first we're gonna see that uh, what is the actual page and what the uh, actual component that is rendering in the screen. So we have a, a counter as a component and counter as a page and uh, it looks like this one. We have a description and we are passing the value as a check value and the default counter value is zero and we have a input box so we have we have a one as a default and we have a plus and minus uh, buttons and uh, now the current count is zero so the input box is working as a value receiver by the value we can increment or decrement the count so if we have a one, we can directly uh, click on plus. It will gonna the count will gonna increase to one, and again we gonna press one. It will gonna increase by another one, so it will gonna be two. In the same way, we can decrement by the minus button, and it will become zero. So this is the, our actual component that is rendering in the screen. So we'll gonna write the test cases for this page let's see how to write your test cases for this so first we need to create a test file for the page the page name is count so we're gonna write count dot test dot js now the first thing we're gonna write we're gonna import the methods that will gonna given by uh, react testing library the main method there it provide us the render so we're gonna import it first so the render will create a virtual dom for us if we pass the component the render will render it and create a virtual dom and the testing will be done on top of that virtual dom so it is taking the reference of that virtual dom and checking that every values what we are expecting are coming properly or not so let's start writing the test describe Let's write test to the counter. The first thing is our main motive is to we should see right in the screen. Before that, I'll go and show you that what actually counter is. So we have a counter counter is receiving a description as a props and default count and after that it will gonna showing those values so we have a, a counter as a component let's see the page we we have a page that is count.js we can see that in we're importing that counter component and passing the props that description that is check value and default count is zero so as we can see in the screen we have a check value and zero so we should expect that the check value and zero should come in the screen because it's not a static thing that we are passing the props value it should come right so first test we're going to write that actually page is working properly rendering rendering the component properly or not so first we will write should properly so as i mentioned the render method is used to create the virtual dom and taking the virtual DOM 
for testing so to check the values are actually present or not so first we will do the render method and we are passing what we are passing the page right we need to render the page for that we need to import the page first and we pass that count so this will gonna create a virtual dom for the count page so how we can see that the virtual dom is created or not we can see using debug we we have a screen method that is also provide that is also coming from react testing library using that screen method we have a screen dot debug to see that whatever the virtual dom is created we can see that in our con in our command prompt let's see let's run this test case as we see nothing has failed but is console logging the dom that is created by the render method so we are using screen dot debug to see that what what is created in the screen so we have a body we have a div and we have a description check value everything has created as like we have a our page if you go to the route how we can see in the screen the same way it is created now what we need to check that what we expecting in the screen it should be there so our actual screen is ready now we need to check that the we have a uh, same values that we expecting are there or not so first thing let's comment it out first thing we'll want to do expect now the screen have a different screen is used to uh, give you some queries that you that you use to grab the node and check the value of that node so we can use a uh, screen dot get by text you you can see uh, you have uh, all these things get all by role get all by text id everything we can you, you, you can't use in a, a single time when you have uh, uh, different scenarios um, in in different scenario we can use different kind of queries so for this cases i need to check the text that should come in the screen or not i can check with a get by text text is description and it was a check value and the default counter 0 now we are checking that this is the element Okay, the, we are grabbing it from grabbing it from the node. We are taking that get by text. We are we're passing that. Okay, you just go and check this node that contains so it a description check value and dc dot zero. If 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 these things actually present in the screen, this will return the element. And how to check this one? To be in the document. So we are checking that it is present in that document or not okay so if we run this one let's see 
okay now you can see that it has failed now you have a description you have a check value you have a dc zero what was missing the space is it the space was missing right if you can see there is a space in between zero and the colon so let's make it proper now run this one now you can see that it it is working fine so in a same way we have a, a different type of queries now i have used get by get by text get by test id different things are there for get by for every get by if it if it matches it will gonna return the element if it will not gonna match it will gonna throw me an error okay and for the asynchronous purpose we can't use these queries but uh, if we uh, go to find by text find by test id uh, that will gonna we can use for asynchronous purpose and the, the difference you can see that get by and query by it will gonna if it will not match anything uh, from the screen it will gonna throw you error but the query by text or query by test id will not gonna return you error it will gonna return you null so you can use this based on your purpose different purposes uh, if, if you need that uh, uh, get by you can you, you can go with get by if you if you need a uh, query by text test id or query by text you can go with a uh, query by um, test id queries also so let's see uh, another thing uh, another thing we need to expect that we have a current count also present in the screen right this current count also should be zero so in the same way we are going to write screen and we are grabbing it from the screen and we are writing that current count will be zero and should be present in the document let's run this again it is passing the, the first test case is done in a second scenario what we can see let's go to the component first the page actually the actions that we are performing uh, in the screen like what we can perform we can perform we can write it's a two and we perform a click on the button and it will gonna increase it to two because we passed the value is two in a, this this scenario we need to uh, do it using the test cases how to do that in, in the test cases let's see so first we write the what we are actually testing perform increment with the value same way we can render it first first we need to render the page now our page and screen is ready now we can test it on top of that now the first thing we need to do we need to type something here like two or three or something like that to type right how to achieve that so uh, react testing library uh, comes with uh, some sort of user events like click hover 
uh, this kind of things type so just import those events import user from testing library user event so first thing I need to perform that user should type something but where where I type that so I need to find that node using screen go to the screen and find it using screen dot get by text or get by role we don't know that how to basically fetch uh, that element from the screen so for that um, I need um, the screen that means I need the document first so I just uncomment is this one I have this one body let's copy this one you can copy the particular element also and we're going for a react texting playground just paste your whole element so we have uh, the whole component is here so I need to basically access this input right so this will give me that how to access this element it will gonna show me that screen dot get by role and it, it, it will be the text box and the text box label the name basically uh, should be enter value by that I can grab it from screen so just copy this one most of the cases if you know you can write if you don't know how to find it you don't have any um, sort of test IDs or a particular unique thing you can go and check it here we'll gonna write it screen dot get by little text box and go with the name enter value so basically where we got the element and the next thing is what we should do we need to we need to write something right there so just comma we need to write what we write something some value 3 ok now the next step is is to click on the plus button user dot click also event user event that is also coming from testing library user events to so go with click, user dot click but where I should click so go to the playground and check it we have a button and we are getting it from get by role it button and the, the button name is plus so copy it from here so you, you can get it right if you know you can directly write it if you don't know exploring you can go to the playground take a help of that and write it here so we are clicking on the button that plus button basically now what do you expect so you enter or uh, type 3 and just click on plus what should it be the counter the default count is 0 now it should be 3 right let's see expect screen dot get by text current count will be 3 
to be the document it's run properly right let's see it has failed that we don't have anything get by text current count 3 to be in the document let's see the document also here then in the document we can see the current count is 13 how it is possible so it's, we just perform the same thing in our screen what we have done is go grab that element input box type 3 and click on the plus button it comes 13 but we don't need this one what we need we just need to increment with 3 not 13 so first we are gonna select the value that was present before and write 3 and then click on plus button it is gonna increment by 3 that means 13 plus 3 is 16 right so I will gonna show properly it was 0 now selected select all and then enter 3 and then plus it will gonna comes out as a 3 in the same way we need to do the same thing so we can't write directly 3 we need to select all we need to select all the things that present in the input box and type 3 this will gonna work properly yeah the test case has performed now see that what is select all these are the special characters that is uh, coming with uh, user events that will perform in input or text area so we have a enter we have a space we have a uh, skip button backspace delete in select all we have a select all the text element and after that if you perform anything like write 3 or 4 after that only it will gonna uh, serve the purpose that you want to do you have an arrow left arrow right everything that events that you the e not only the events the coming with uh, like you need to perform enter you need to perform space or delete something this will gonna come with this special character strings let's go into this one so we have tested properly the increment now we need to test the decrement also in the same way we're gonna write the same test message we'll write decrement we're gonna render first and then we're gonna type it something that will gonna grab by the screen dot get by role text box and then we are passing the value of the input box so we are writing in a form of regex you can writing as a string also no issue and select all as a character string and write 4 
then user click the dot click screen dot get by role and we're gonna find out which one the button right we need to find out the button first and then we need to go for the minus button basically so we need to specify the name is minus right we need to click on the minus button and what we should expect 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 screen dot get by text the current count current count should be minus 4 right should be in a document first just checking that it's working properly or not so let's see we have one failed test cases okay so get by roll button okay so what was the mistake we have written button in a capital caps we need to check again yeah everything has passed 